Assalamu alaikum. How is it going? I was hoping today to talk a little bit about self-awareness and creativity and since it's it's the month of Ramadan I think it's best time to talk about the synergy that flows in my works and daily life not only as an art instructor but as a human being. I see people who are struggling and who are overwhelmed with anxiety with whatever's been happening all around. As Pakistanis, we are unfortunately stuck between the suffocating political scenario as well as the stifling economic situation. Well, you're in Pakistan and you're undergoing a catastrophic economical meltdown in almost every field. Not only that, but every school and every university has forgotten the essence of education development of vision skill based curriculum and where i've observed uh, a 7 year old kid carrying the heaviest bag to school and they often forget to play and be imaginative imagination leads to the development of vision by the time they get back home they are all so tired this got me thinking individuals who come to me share his or her social issues a problem that originates from a place they call home you know there 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 comes a time when we all grow up and start realizing and we start questioning life and its challenges that we face which leads us to investigate our point of origin there are stages of self realization we unfold as we progress in years and at the beginning of our journey there is a dawning of self awareness when we reach about 18 to 20 years of age and that that is followed by self exploration self discovery then comes the understanding where we are in our 30s and then comes love and love teaches us sacrifice to understand and to compromise for the broader good as a teacher i have felt that a lot of people come across as students who are struggling to give themselves permission to think reasonably so we are all victims to our own overwhelming amount of chaos all that's taking place all around us from the problems in our home issues you don't have any control over and people who can't accept or find it hard to accept your growth or who you are as a person and then there is the outside world where you are already struggling to find good friends a decent job which can help you establish your creative pursuit coming back to the stages of well uh, self awareness and discovery this is about my own uh, story uh, my own life story so when i was surrounded by an impendable storm in my life i asked myself who is going to save me As a Muslim we look at our creator for his guidance this made me go deeper into research on how to establish that link between me and my creator so i started studying some lectures and scriptures which helped me gain complete understanding of what the hell is actually going on in my life
So the scholars who define our deen through scriptures sent down by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are actually laws of guidance that we must follow as they are mentioned keeping in mind not to resort to any sort of innovations that would make our life more complicated than easy. As mentioned in our scriptures, we as human beings are the only noble species who has the right to decide. How to live their life, whether we should establish and implement the laws as the divine rule in our life or we should do what or however we like regardless of pros and cons, just like animals. For example, the whole universe does not have the right to choose. It is pre-designed to follow a course set in nature by the Creator Allah SWT. Yet, as we as noble human beings have been given the choice to decide. Let's look at the behavior of, you know, for an example, let's look at the behavior of Desi parenting. There are two different types of parenting styles, but two of them are quite common. So first of all is about a parent who dictate their children specific instructions to follow or otherwise they will be punished. These kids are not in any way allowed to have an opinion or to think for themselves and they are ruled by their parents who take great pride in their arrogant approach. How dare you not listen to us? So, you know, and you can't even question us. So the second type of parents are those who educate their kids about the laws and regulations, about the pros and cons of each step and decision in life. And then they leave that decision uh, for the kids to decide for themselves. This is more of an ethical approach and is only uh, established by who are uh, by parents who are intellectually astute and who have the time for their kids. So to, according to my belief, our most noblest and esteemed parent is our creator. And he gave us human beings a choice, which is revelation sent down to us in the form of scriptures by his chosen messengers. I strongly have come to the point uh, where I now see that the link that I mentioned above has 90% disappeared from our society. And we don't need any sort of deep research or how or why. We can clearly witness these things in our daily lives by how we treat people. So no divine scripture teaches us to be self-centered, selfish, a hypocrite and ruthless in our approach. Anyway, let's, let me ask you something. How are you doing? Are you thinking positive? Are you dwelling on your past? Are you feeling mentally or physically healthy? Are you feeling exhausted? Are you tired? Are you spending time with the right type of people who support and respect your value? The reason why I'm asking you these questions is because I've come across a lot of disturbed individuals who seek me out who are going through a lot in their life. A lot of serious bullshit that is inflicted on these individuals from their closest family members, which mostly affects them in a way that they are unable to focus on what they actually want to achieve in their life. And as a human being, I make time for these people who require my help and guidance. Time is valuable. 
for everyone regardless A lot of us have to navigate emotionally and professionally at the same time. And I have received a whole mix of thoughts and feedback from people in the form of opinions, mostly positive, mostly optimistic. But for majority it's been impossible to break that toxic cycle and breathe. Having said that, I've experienced it's been more than a decade I started my art videos. and that was mainly to connect with like-minded people and these projects kept me motivated at the same time going through the storm and the hell in my own life these projects and my teaching sessions helped me to focus on my goals in life one of those goals is to pay it forward to help you guys who come to my doorstep and uh, which was in a way also made impossible due to some factors daily routine i i don't talk much i silently work i talk i actually don't talk at all and you know if somebody asks me a question which is more focused towards a direction in life or you know towards skill or valuable information then i really like to speak about those topics otherwise i don't do small talk Anyway, so understand this and I want you guys to write it down on your wall. Hardships, instability, uncertainty, sadness, pain and unfairness all are normal. These help you to formulate a creative vision. And Allah says, we will definitely test each and every single one of you it's going to be a test after test after test so don't become depressed uh at your test these tests these tribulations are considered as a gift for people uh in their life and i've seen people without limbs legs and uh, legs and arms or some form of deformity and they are so content they are so happy So we all have issues so don't get depressed these issues are there that's why the dunya exist a lot of my students and clients have pointed out a dreamy religious synergy that exists in my work and dealing with life and its consequences i'm always trying my best as a human being to become a better person and if you find me as a mentor my first intentions are not to you rule you as a mentor but to become your best friend so within my own struggles i'm trying to support and help people as much as i can with theirs it is mentioned by several muslim scholars that the hardships in our lives are written even before birth we live in a jurassic park as jamal saab has also mentioned Uh, so who is this Jamal guy? Well, he's a senior industrial designer in his 70s and who also happens to be a close friend of mine who I often argue with about understanding life. So there it is. Anyway, so it seems I spoke a lot about awareness, supporting others and how to think constructive about whatever creative process you would like to establish. Whatever constructive skill you wish to do, do it with perfection and love. With having said that, remember not to indulge in any practice or skill that is damaging the moral fiber of a society or for whatever reason. 
anyway stay blessed take care and enjoy the month of ramadan allah hafiz and bye bye